This is inside the incubator and this is what it looks like. The eggs are all neatly arranged in rows, although in a nest they would just be obviously in, in the circle. And you always want to hatch the eggs with the fat end or the big round end up. And I'll show you later that that's where the air sac is. And you always want that air sac up because when the chicks pip internally, they break through a membrane inside the egg into that air sac and that lets them breathe while they're hatching. And a chick will usually take up to 24 hours to hatch. It's a really um, difficult, hard, strenuous uh, exercise for them to actually break out of an egg. So they take their time. They'll pip, break through the egg a little bit, the shell, and then rest for an hour and then pip a little more and then rest. So you'll get to see that in 21, actually minus seven, 21 minus 7, you'll get to see that in about 14, 15 days. So let's show you now at day 7 what the development of the chicks is like. So I'm going to pick up an egg here and you can now see that we have a baby chick in there. And I hope you can see it moving. There, oh yeah, it's really swimming around. So the chick is the little black dot. And Further along in the development, you'll be able to see the heartbeat, but right now you can just see a little black dot, which is probably the eye, um, and it's swimming around in the albumen, which is the clear um, part of the egg, and it is attached to the yolk, and the yolk is what feeds it. And you can see the blood vessels coming off of the baby chick. And that is also what feeds it and, and gives it oxygen and allows it to develop. So this is a healthy egg. Um, lots of blood vessels stemming from the baby chick, from the embryo. And you can also see the air sac. So you see the air sac is very little right now. As the chick gets older and develops, it'll get bigger and bigger. That air sac will become about a third of the egg. So you see right at the top where it's a little lighter, the circle, that's the air sac. And it's at the fat end, the top end of the egg, right? So we're going to put this egg back and lay it up like that. So the top end, the big end is up. Let's look at the next egg. Oh, there's another healthy chick. And it was closer to the shell. Now it's farther away. It's sort of, they just spend time swimming in there. Lots of great blood vessels. Oh, it's come a bit closer. So that's a healthy egg. We're going to leave it bottom end up. And here's another chick. You can see the black dot is the eye. And that one's really close to the surface. Great blood vessels. So these are all doing really good, these chicks. Let's pick up this egg. Oh, there's another one. And you can see that air sac up at the top really well. Okay. Now what we're doing right now is called candling. We're not actually using a candle, but in the old days, that's how people would try and see if the eggs were fertile, is candling. Uh, using a candle and holding it up um, behind an egg. But we use an LED light now. Now this egg you can see is mottled and it's a darker shell. So it's quite, it's a little more difficult to see. And also with this egg you can see that it's really porous. See all the kind of lighter spots in the shell? That's a porous egg. So we just want to watch and make sure that one develops okay. All right, this is a darker egg. Let's see how that one is. Okay, so they're all doing good. Now what I want to show you is there's an egg here that is different. And I wonder if you can tell what's different about this egg. You don't see the black dot for the chick. You don't see any veins. This actually is an unfertilized egg. So there's no chick developing in this egg. It has not been fertilized by a rooster. And all you see the dark mass is the yolk. So this egg will be removed because nothing is happening to this egg. It's just a plain old egg. And um, if we kept it in here, it probably would go bad.
because uh, it'll be at 99.5 degrees for three weeks and that won't be good. So we're going to remove that egg out of the incubator and you can see the rest of the eggs um, are doing really good. We have healthy, healthy chicks in all of them. Lots of good blood vessels. If any of the chicks um, died through development over the 21 days, we'd see a ring, a, a circle, a ring of blood. And we're not seeing that, so they're doing really well. Um, but usually, out of every hatch, if you get 70% of the, of the eggs hatching, you're doing really well. So, so far, we've all the eggs are doing great, except for one egg that was not fertile. So we're down now to 11 fertile eggs on day 7 of the hatch, and two more weeks they'll be hatching out chicks.